friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be our August plan with me. So I'm super excited for August because we go back to school. I have all of my new teacher meetings and orientations and just all the fun stuff that comes with back to school um, that most teachers may not be excited about, but being a first year teacher, I am very excited to get started. I am like counting down the days until we start these orientations and then back to school week. Um, all that kind of stuff. I'm just so excited. So this is going to be fun. I also am literally like in love and obsessed with this kit that I come up with um, for August. I used a Etsy digital paper. Um, I can't remember what it was called. I think it was just called back to school. So that's what I base everything around. And then the colors that I chose, I just love like the bright colors for this month. So I'm going to show it to you. If you watched my monthly design with me, then you've already seen it. But if you have not, I'm going to show you, but you should definitely still go watch that. So this is our header. So it's all back to school theme because again, that's what we're doing right now. So I have this for my headers for this page, as well as these um, colored appointment labels and these little fun things down here. And then this one, this one is like my absolute favorite with the little letters. I just love that. So cute. And then I also have a dashboard page. Um, so I have my goals this month, the place for a quote, and then habits. So we'll set that up as well at the end of this video. But for now, we're going to start with this page. So I am just super excited. I really think this is going to look cute. I need to move this one down some. I'm very, very excited for August. Okay. Now let's do this one. Probably gonna have to move these down as well. Uh oh, I need to move that one up some, I guess. I didn't really think about that. In July, it did not look like this. Oh no, it's gonna tear the paper. It's supposed to be removable. I got new sticker paper and it is just not my favorite. Let's see, what did July look like? Oh, you can't really see it. July did not look like that. July looked like that, I think. So, I don't think this is gonna cover that. So let's find some white out. And we'll just have to make do with the white out. That stinks. I didn't realize that the headers on each one of these were gonna be different sizes. Like I didn't even think to measure that. I just figured it would be the same, but it was not. Let's go ahead and stick this down and then I'll see how much I need to white out. So let's see if we can get it kind of lined up here. Oh man, I did not get that lined up right. What am I doing wrong? What is going wrong? This one's like up under it. There we go. All right, so I'm just gonna pull this part up and we're gonna try to white out. It's probably gonna look pretty goofy, but you know, what can you do? Okay, that definitely looks funny, but whatever. We'll just try to ignore that. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I have a couple things like this and this and this one that I really just wanna make notes for, um, not necessarily like actual appointments. So we're gonna start with my family being out of town. Um, I just need to remember that because they will not, they'll probably um, come home that afternoon. We were supposed to go out of town with them and then my brother, my husband's brother, my brother-in-law, um, they planned their wedding for that weekend. Um, so we're not gonna be able to go out of town that weekend. But anyways, let's see, let's put, I guess we'll just put fam out of town. And that'll work for that. Just gonna put it at the bottom so that I remember. All right, and then we have all of these orientations. So let's just do, let's see, that one's eight to two. And then eight to three, 30.
and 8 to 330. Come on. All right. Let's put these in. Not that day. All right. Last one. I don't know why I'm being so quiet in this one. I'm like really concentrating. It's also the afternoon and I'm starting to kind of get tired. Like I was full steam this morning, got a lot of stuff done. And now it's kind of starting to like wind back down some for me. All right. We also have a 10 o'clock chiropractor appointment on that Friday. And I believe that weekend is actually, they're going to have the school open. Usually the school that I'm working at in the summer is closed Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but they are going to have it open for us that weekend, at least Saturday and Sunday. It said that the school would be open the 7th, 8th, and 9th in my principal's email, but I think she meant the 6th, 7th, and 8th because the 9th we have to go back to school, so everybody will be there. So, I, of course, the building would be open then. Um, so, I'm not really sure about that one, but I think it's going to be open for Saturday and Sunday, so at least Jeremiah and I, if we need to, can go and work in there. If not, I think we're going to try to plan a little short trip, maybe Friday to Sunday. If I don't need the, to take that time to go work in my classroom, it just depends on how much I get done beforehand. But we're going to try to plan a trip. Maybe. We'll see. Um, just something simple to kind of have somewhere to go relax and just, you know, not stress over life for a little bit. All right. So then we have, um, this actually starts work week, like our teacher work week. Um, so let's put, what do we want to write for that? Let's just put work week. So that Monday through Friday is our work week. And then the 16th is the first day of school. And I'm going to put that on its own little sticker. Over here is Jeremiah's Saturday to work. I don't know why I had two of those. I must have just grabbed two on accident. So we'll put that in there. Jeremiah's work Saturday. There we go. And then let's use, I think I'm gonna use this one for the 16th to represent the first day of school. So excited for that. I hope this excitement never dies. Like I, I really hope that I'm the kind of teacher that can keep the excitement all the, like just all the time because I'm so excited right now. Like I'm just so ready to go. Can't wait, so excited. So let's see, first, oh, that's not how you spell first. Well, I ruined that one, but that's okay. First day of school. Okay, awesome. So that gives us that. I don't think there's anything else I wanna put in for those. So let's go ahead and flip over here to our dashboard page and see if we can't get this set up. So I used the same exact thing for the dashboard as I did for this header. So they kind of match each other. So that's what we're going to use over here. And again, I did not think to measure this. So I'm really hoping that this just fits. We shall see in two minutes. Awesome. It fit. Perfect. Then I have the this month sticker. I'm going to go ahead and just fold this up. So let's put this in here. Oops, that's a little crooked. Oh, come on. Why do you keep doing that? I am not a fan of the sticker paper. Don't recommend. I got it off Amazon, but it is just not my favorite for sure. What did I do wrong? I don't think it's going to come back up, so I don't know if we'll be able to try again. It does say that it's removable, but we all just saw that it tore the paper a minute ago. So it's kind of scary to try to remove it. Let's 
Okay. And now the poor sticker is all like ruined up. Ruined up. What kind of word is that? It's all like rolled up is what I was going to say. It's still super crooked. Why can't I get this down straight? We're just going to go with it like this. <laughs> And we're just going to not worry about the fact that it's over this line, not over that one. Whatever. It's going to be okay. Every little thing is going to be all right. Okay. And then last one on that sheet. And then the habits at the bottom. So that takes care of these and I am going to fill them in with you guys. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So let's go ahead and fill this in for my goals for this month. Um, I'm going to keep one of them the same. I'm trying to look at them. I wrote them down on sticky notes. So I wouldn't forget everything. So the one I'm gonna keep the same is posting to Insta two times a week. I have not done the best job of that in July, so I'm going to make that another goal for August, just kind of transfer that over. I definitely posted more um, throughout the month of July, but I did not live up to the two times a week, I don't think. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put for my health one to lose three pounds. I did five pounds in July so far and today is july 15th i've lost two pounds so i'm hoping that i'll get another pound if not two more pounds lost but i don't think i'm gonna hit the five pound mark um so we're gonna kind of doubt bump that down we're gonna have to adjust that one and then my last goal is gonna be for school so i want to get ahead and this is not school like my teaching school but i um i don't think i've said this yet but i'm starting my master's in the fall in august so um I really want to make sure I get planned ahead and try to work ahead as much as I possibly can before the school year really takes off and gets kind of crazy. So that's what that's going to be. I will talk about my master's probably in like a life update or something like that coming soon. Um, or maybe just in a vlog, but I'm not going to really go into detail here in this because that's what not, that's not what this is about. So for my quote for this time, um, I tried to choose one that was kind of fitting for back to school and my like nervousness and anxieties about going back to school and just kind of like also my excitedness and stuff. So that's why I chose a quote from Eleanor Roosevelt that says, you must do the things you think you cannot do. So that's what we're gonna put here. Just as a reminder, every time I visit this page, um, that in order to grow, I have to kind of get outside of my comfort zone and that it's okay to feel the way I feel. For my habits, I'm only going to change one of them. Um, I'm still going to keep reading because I am still enjoying reading a little bit in the evenings when I can. Um, I'm still going to continue to track when I read the Bible, working out, uh, my morning routine, And then I'm going to change. I had one for July that said waking up at eight because it is the summer. So I was trying to like not sleep all day away, but still like not get up super early. I'm taking that one away because obviously when I go back to school, I will be up before eight. So that's not like something that's going to matter at this point. Um, and I'm going to put down here, I'm just going to put Insta. Uh, I'm trying to see if putting it here and tracking it each day will help me reach the goal of posting at least two times a week. So that's kind of my plan for putting that here. So we will see. We'll kind of see what happens. But that is it for my monthly plan with me. Make sure that you do stay tuned for my monthly budget setup that will be coming soon, um, as well as all 
of the fun back to school videos and planning videos and just everything we have planned or I've got planned for you guys. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one. All right. Bye guys.